couple commissioners that hadn't been paying attention, I think, to their business a little bit, which was concerning to me. I think we, you need to treat this like a full-time job. Mm -hmm. And they hadn't been doing that. I think you've got a good agency, though, some good staff over there who are doing a good job. But I think there's always efficiencies and in, in, in ways to improve. And, and that's what I think is important at this point. One, they, they'd gotten behind at that point in permitting. Mm -hmm. Their technology's behind the ball. Um, nothing so, so major that it's not fixable, but more it's just paying attention and being an advocate for their agency. And I just think that they weren't doing as good a job for that as they needed to. Number one, I've never had, nor has my father, I guess, since we're talking family, we've never had any issues in front of the Railroad Commission ourselves with anything that he or I are involved in. And I think it's important that, the in, that somebody who understands this industry is involved at the Commission. In fact, the feedback I'm getting from within the industry and out, they want a commissioner who understands what they're talking about when they're having a conversation with you. And as far as conflicts, you know, I look at Barry Williamson, Elizabeth Ames Jones, their families were in, in, in the industry and it wasn't, they were able to do a good job and look at it from a good perspective and I think that's what I'll do too. I don't mm -hmm. think that's a problem. I think it helps me, don't think it hurts me at all. Mm -hmm. uh, it, he has a great record and I'm proud of him and he is helping me and he's proud of me. So I think we, you know, as a family, we had to make a decision whether it was great for us or not and they're all supportive and, I, you know, his record is, is great and I'm, I'm proud of what he's done. There is, but at the same time, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I think the industry is doing a really good job. This commission does a good job. And one of the things that the Royal Commission does best is move quickly if, if necessary, whereas the PUC and the TCQ, in my opinion, aren't as responsive and don't, don't um, move as quickly. If you've got a contested hearing, it could take them six months. If you've got something major at the Royal Commission, you can have it done in six weeks if, if, if it needs to be moved that fast. So I think it's important to have, it's, uh, to keep, keep the agency separate. Every, I think each agency has its own role. I think it's important that for industry and for those people out in the public to have an agency specifically that is oil and gas related. There's too much going on to, to stick it in, over at the TCQ and the PUC, PUC just doesn't know our issues as well. And I think that's a big piece of it. Three. Why? It's an appellate body as much as anything, and I think it's important that if you get three, at least three to, to hear your side of the story, because you may not get along with one. We don't want somebody who's unfriendly to the industry to be running the commission as one. I think it's three is appropriate. Because I think this is one of those, what I consider a funny race, that you think only the industry gives you money, but everybody gets to vote, right? And to me, it's a combination of getting out so the industry knows who you are, and which I know a lot of them anyway, which is a, a real positive. And then two, work in the grassroots, and I know a lot of them, not all of them, but you've got to get out and work every day and talk to them, and whether it's get on the phone or go visit with them, and, and that's, that's the fun part, I think, frankly to go visit with them all. And, um, and, and I think that is, if they get down ballot and remember your name, then that's where you win. And that's the biggest piece of it is getting your name out.